also a good week to probably take a walk here and there. Oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous outside today. Yeah, I took a walk this morning and was just uh, relishing all the sunshine. Meteorologist Ray Petlam, we want this to continue this week. All right, I think we can let this one go. How about we warm it up a little bit too? We had a little spice to the forecast with temps making a run for 80 degrees. Today we only made it to the lower 60s, which isn't bad considering the cool temperatures we had for much of the weekend. Still 61 degrees in Pittsburgh. Washington is 60. A little warmer down in Morgantown where it's 64 degrees. Some 50s up along I-80. Uh, you get 61 in Greensburg, Beaver Falls, 62 for you, even 61 in Newcastle. Clear skies looking from the North Shore towards downtown. A couple clouds have mixed in at the airport, but generally we're looking at clear skies for the time being, although we will add in a few clouds through the night. 61 degrees for Pittsburgh, low humidity and calm winds. Now tomorrow you're going to get up and you're going to have sunshine again. Temperatures will be in the upper 40s, so it won't be quite as cold as the commute was this morning. Temperatures through 9 a.m. build up to about 60 degrees. Once we get into tomorrow afternoon, you can see we'll mix in a few fair weather clouds. However, temperatures will be closer to 80 degrees, so you might need the heat for a little bit in the morning and possibly the AC on the way back, although with the lower humidity, I think it'll be a good one to keep the windows down. Now, once we get into tomorrow, you're going to see that uh, we'll clear those skies out again. So we're going to get a little push to clouds tonight and another one tomorrow. This first push of clouds actually is coming in with a warm front. That'll lift across the area and mix in some clouds from time to time. You'll still get to see the super moon tonight if you want to go check that out. But that warm front goes well up to the north and that allows all that warm air to fill in and we're looking pretty quiet through lunchtime tomorrow into the evening. Looking good. Now into Wednesday, this cold front starts to get a little closer and well out ahead of it. Uh, the models try to pick up on a few spotty showers, but I think the bulk of the rain is going to be later on uh, Wednesday and carry over into Thursday and potentially even a couple thunderstorms as this cold front gets closer still. Tonight, 45 degrees, partly cloudy. The full pink moon occurs tonight. It's not pink. But it is a super moon, so it'll look a little bigger and brighter than usual. Light and variable winds, comfortable temperatures. Not a bad night to check that out. It's officially full at 1131. Tomorrow, 80 degrees, a rather warm day. It will be breezy, too, with those winds out of the southwest at 10 to 20. So even though we're going to start off with temperatures in the upper 40s, uh, early 4 a.m., if you're up that early, 48 degrees, we'll dip down a couple more and then bounce back to 48 by the time we get to 7 a.m. Lunchtime, 73 degrees, and then as you're thinking, Thinking about that commute home, 80. So we are looking at a warmer setup for tomorrow than we've seen uh, for the past few days for sure. Upper 70s for tomorrow uh, to low 80s, 80 degrees in Pittsburgh. Many spots around the city in the upper 70s. 79 on Wednesday with some showers possible in the afternoon. I think a pretty soggy day on Thursday, Friday, mainly early showers, but you'll notice that those temperatures start to get cooler, especially later on this work week, and then we pot them out on Saturday again. We're going to look for both Saturday and Sunday to start off with temperatures in the 30s. We bounce back to the upper 50s on Saturday, mid 60s on Sunday. But we get some warm stuff before that, and you can see the temperature, current conditions, hourly forecasts, and a whole lot more with the KDK weather app. It is available for free in your App Store and Google Play. Plus, there's an interactive radar in there. Very cool app, and it's free. Search CBS Pittsburgh.